In this section, we're going to look at dosage calculations. for medications in powdered form. And uh, in this section, I'm going to skip the relabeling the vial. I think the rules of that process are best determined when you're working on a certain floor. So we will focus on how much to administer of given medication. So our first example says, ordered 1.0 grams intramuscularly every six hours. Uh, the label reads, Four grams of medication, inject 5.7 milliliters of sterile water, to yield 8 milliliters of solution. And uh, this is stable 24 hours at room temperature. Now, what exactly does this mean? We started with 4 grams, and then we added 5.7 milliliters. So recognize that the powder actually has some volume, and that might depend on the density of the powder. But what you need to recognize now is, once we've mixed these together, after mixing, we have four grams of medication in a total of eight milliliters of solution. So we started with 5.7 milliliters of water, but once we added the 4 grams to the 5.7 milliliters, we get a total of 8 milliliters of solution. Now what we are asked to do is we are asked to administer 1.0 grams intramuscularly every 6 hours, and we just want to figure out what one dose is going to be. So we're going to start with 1.0 grams. We want to go ahead and convert that from grams to milliliters, because that's what we're going to draw in the syringe and administer to the patient. So grams should be in the denominator, milliliters should be in the numerator. And what we have here is, we are saying 4 grams lives in 8 milliliters of solution. Looking at this, grams cancel, and the result is going to be 2 milliliters. So let's look at another question. We're going to say ordered 750 milligrams IM intramuscularly QD, I assume that means every day, at 10 hundred hours, which of course you know is 10 a.m. And they're going to say that the label says uh, 1.0 grams of medication inject 1.5 milliliters of sterile water to yield 2 milliliters of solution And say that this is stable for six hours.
so what are we going to do here? We recognize that we are ordering 750 milligrams. But what we have is, is we have one gram of medication and one and a half milliliters of medication to give us a total of two milliliters. So what we're ordering here is ordering 750 milligrams. Uh, but after we mix, we have a total of 1.0 grams of medication in a total of 2 milliliters of solution. Once the water is added, we have a total of 2 milliliters of solution. So this shouldn't be difficult for us to do. So we are ordering 750 milligrams we're going to need to convert from milligrams to grams, so we will put milligrams on the bottom, grams on the top, and we know 1,000 milligrams would correspond to one gram. And then what do we know? We want to convert that to milliliters. We're interested in how many milliliters we are going to administer. So we are saying that one gram corresponds to two milliliters. I need the grams to cancel, so grams on the bottom, one gram, corresponds to two milliliters. So if that's the case, milligrams go away, grams go away, we do our computation and see how many milliliters we need to administer. And the result of this is 1.5 milliliters. Now this is only stable for six hours, so we're going to give this every day at 10 a.m. Recognize it's only stable for six hours, so you'd have to discard unused portion. So keep in mind there'd be no way that you could reuse that in light of the behavior of the medication. Okay, for this example, ordered some medication which is 100 milligrams intramuscularly every six hours and what's available is 10 milliliter vial of powder labeled 1000 milligrams So it's important to be able to interpret the meaning of this statement. A 10 milliliter vial of powder that is labeled 1,000 milligrams. So the powder has 1,000 milligrams, but it's telling you that it needs to be placed in a vial with a total of 10 milliliters. So what you've got to do here is you must add diluent, typically sterile water, to the powder. So that the total volume, that is of the water and the powder, is 10 milliliters. So that's the first part of that process. Then once, that, once that's done, we can recognize that the concentration, what we have in that vial, is we know we have 1,000 milligrams of medication. per 10 milliliters total of solution. So what we have here is we're ordering 100 milligrams, so we make the mixture. How many milliliters must we administer? That's what this is saying. So again, we're ordering 100 milligrams. We have mixed the solution. We've put the diluent into the powder so that we have a result of 10 milliliters and we have 1,000 milligrams of medication in those 10 milliliters. So I need milligrams to cancel, milligrams on the bottom, milliliters on the top, and I have 1,000 milligrams of medication in 10 milliliters. So you'll notice here that milligrams cancels and the result is 
milliliters. So what do we have? We have 1,000 times 10, which is 1,000, divided by 1,000, or 1 milliliter. So, you know, we should give, we should administer... One milliliter, how often? Every six hours. We don't know the stability of this. And again, rather than having you relabel, uh, I would wait until you are working on a medical ward and they will give you the standards of relabeling there. And that will conclude this lesson.